Right, guys, we are here with another Sporkle quiz. I hope you're enjoying these, guys, because I enjoy them. They're good fun. I've recorded a lot today. They've, if, if you don't know, all the ones that have been coming out have all been recorded in the same session. So <laughs> my mind's a bit frazzled, but we're going to be doing some ancient history, guys. I'm not amazing at ancient history. I love it. I'm really interested in it, but I am not an expert by any means. So let's see how we go. And we're going to start with famous ancient Greeks. There's 20... Oh, God, it's 20. I don't think I know 20. So let's start. The great and ancient Greek, the greatest of ancient Greek poets. He's the author of the Iliad and the Odyssey. Oh, it's got to be Homer, right? Yeah. This philosopher was the teacher of Alexander the Great and the author of Nicomachean Ethics. Oh. I think it's Aristotle, right? Yes, okay. Uh, this writer is the major source on Greek mythology, farming techniques, early economic thought, archaic Greek astronomy, and ancient timekeeping. Uh, I don't know. He created one of the largest empires of the ancient world, stretching from the Ionian Sea to the Himalayas, and remained undefeated in battle. Of course, Alexander the Great. He has been called the father of history, and was the first historian to known to collect his materials systematically, test their accu accuracy to a certain extent, and arrange them. Is that Herodotus? I think so, yeah. For this philosopher, everything was related to mathematics and numbers were the ultimate reality. He influenced Plato and discovered a theorem that was named after him. Of course, Pythagoras. Pythagoras theorem. There we are. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. This philosopher who knew that he knew nothing was the teacher of Plato and protagonist of Plato's dialogues. Um, of course, Socrates executed... For corrupting the youth, apparently. Um, and if you have read, uh, I've read Socrates' Defense by Plato. Uh, it's fantastic, by the way. It's fantastic. You want to read it at some point. It's it's very much um, a. If you can understand the jargon, it's very much a. Uh, what do you call it? A propaganda piece for Socrates, but. It's fantastic to read something that old, honestly. He was a Greek historian and Athenian general. His history on the Peloponnesian War recounts the war between Sparta and Athens. Um, I'm thinking Sophocles or Epicurus. I'm going to go Sophocles. No. This philosopher and student of Socrates founded the Academy in Athens, the first institution of higher learning in the Western world. Plato, one of the leading scientists in classical antiquity, he laid the foundation for hydrostatics, statics, and an explanation of the principles of the lever. Archimedes, this general under Alexander the Great became ruler of Egypt and founder of a kingdom and dynasty named after him. Ptolemy, if we can find him. Ptolemy the first Sota. He is one of the three ancient Greek tragedians and the author of Antigone and Oedipus the King. Going to leave that one for now. The father of Alexander the Great, he reformed the army and established the League of Corinth, which embedded Macedonian hegemony over Greece. Philip II. He was the first of the three ancient Greek tragedians and is often described as the father. Of... Okay, so this is the last one. It's not Leonidas. Oh, didn't I press Sophocles? This king of Sparta is noted for his heroic stand against the Persians uh, at the Battle of Thermopylae in 480 BC. Leonidas, of course, he is the most influential statement of Athens during the Golden Age between the Persian and Peloponnesian Wars and turned Athens into the cultural centre of the Greek world. Oh, I, I don't know. The ki this king of the Molossians, Epirus, and Macedon was one of the strongest opponents of early Rome. Some of his battles, though successful, cost him heavy losses. Pyrrhus, this Athenian statesman promoted and planned the disastrous Sicilian expedition during the Peloponnesian War and changed his political allegiance on several occasions. Oh, I don't know. Uh, for this philosopher, the purpose of philosophy was to attain the happy, tranquil life characterized by atar ataraxia, peace and freedom from fear, and aponia, the absence of pain. Hmm, this philosopher... 
Sophocles. <laughs> this Spartan admiral defeated the Athenians at Ego Spotami in 405 BC and one year later forced them to capitulate, bringing the Peloponnesian Lysander. This writer is the major source on Greek mythology. Okay. Let's go Epicurus. Uh, uh, yeah. Sophocles. Oh, yes! <laughs> it was Sophocles. Um, the influential statement, Alcibiades, that sounds more Eastern. So does Hesiod. So I'm going to say Pericles. Okay, this Athenian statesman promoted and planned the disastrous Sicilian expedition, Thucydides. Okay, he was a Greek and Athenian general. His history of the Peloponnesian War recounts a war. Okay, Epicurus was the philosopher. Alcibiades was a statesman, Sicilian expedition. Aeschylus was the Greek tragedian. And Hesiod is a major source on Greek mythology. We did well. We did a lot better than the average. So let's uh, let's find another one and we'll, uh, we'll get that started, guys. So we have the ancient city slideshow here. Can you name the cities, both ancient and modern, by images depicting one of their periods? Founded in 1147 AD. I mean, that's not ancient. That's old, but it's not ancient. I mean, I think that's uh, St. Petersburg, right? Petersburg. No? What about Moscow? Yes, okay, it is Moscow. 700, between 700 and 600 BC. Is that not the burning of Rome? Like, no, really? Hmm. Oh, oh, it's a volcano going off. <laughs> oh. There we are, Pompeii. <laughs> that was stupid. Is that Petra in Jordan? Yeah. Destroyed in 363 AD. That's sad. Uh, the Siege of X. It's short. North Sidon. I mean, it's is that Sidon? Because it says North Sidonian... Harbour. Or what about Tyre? It is Tyre. Okay, cool. Founded between 250 to 200 BC. That is Paris, right? That's the uh, Notre Dame. Yeah, Paris. Cool. Okay, well, I think we know this one. Athens. Uh, got the Acropolis up there. Okay, this is an Italian city. Huh. Ooh. It's got to be Venice, hasn't it? That's got to be the island of Venice, surely. Yeah, Venice. 421 AD, fair enough. Founded around 1045 BC. I'm going to go Beijing. Okay, it was. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's the only one I could really think of. Oh, that's Carthage. So what would that be called now? Tunis? Tunis? But... I'll put in Carthage. Yeah, Carthage, Tunisia. Uh, founded in 667 BC. I mean, we've got the big... Is this... Um, I believe that's Istanbul, right? There's the... Uh, yeah, there's the big uh, the temple. Istanbul. Uh, Byzantium. Okay, cool. Okay, this... Uh, is that the mausoleum at Halicarnassus? I'm just thinking Rome Total War here, guys. <laughs> Halicarnassus. Okay, yep. Yeah. yeah, cool. And that's London, as we can see. 43 AD it was founded. London, ooh. 3000 BC, bro. Um, well, I mean, there's not many that I know. So Babylon, no. Sidon. Cairo. Ooh. So Mesopotamia. Oh, I mean, Assyria is a place, not a city. I don't know. It's, it's not Babylon then. Interesting. That looks more like Babylon. There's the Hanging Gardens. Yeah, that would be Babylon. Babylon. Abandoned in 650 AD. Oh, sad. 3 3 Founded in 332 BC. I don't know. what. Oh, the lighthouse of Alexand Alexandria. That makes sense, 332 BC as well. 
1325 AD. Is that Technoc T Tetlan? I don't know how you spell it. Tech I think it is, but I I, I Techno Tetlan. Techno Tetlan. No. I, I don't know how to spell it, so we're going to have to leave that for now. 753 BC. I mean... If that's not Rome... Yeah. <laughs> what is it? 1504 AD. I mean, that's... It's not ancient, bro. But I'm not sure. I'm looking at the architecture... To me, it looks like Gothic German. I tried Berlin. Well, we don't know that one, so we'll have to leave it. Uh, well, that's Portugal, so I'm gonna. Get, there's the 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 um the thing of what do you call it the uh, the coat of arms of Portugal. So it's got to be that. Uh, should we say Edo for this or Tokyo? No. Oh, 472 BC. Uh, not Edo. I don't know then. Right, well, uh, we've got 16. So let's say uh, give up. That's Jerusalem. Okay. Cool. That would make sense. That would make perfect sense. Tenoch Titlan. Not ten Techno Titlan. Tenoch Titlan. Well, we got that one. So we got 17. Agra. Okay. Well, it wasn't German then. <laughs> And we have Nanjing in China. Do we have any more of these? Let's keep on going with this playlist. This is pretty good. Can you answer the specific questions provided with each image in this journey through history? I love these. These are good. Let's go. Uh, name the prehistoric period depicted here. Call it the, the Bronze Age? No. Oh, no. The, st the, the Stone Age. <laughs> Dumb. Name this ancient, modern, uh, northern African empire, which included several dynasties. Okay. I mean, uh, the Egyptian? Well, okay, that, that worked. Name the monument built 2,000... It's so mad that it was built about 2,500 BC. That's, that's like um, 4,500 years ago. Uh, the Great Pyramid of uh, Gaza, Giza. Name the ancient plaza whose origins trace to um, 600 to 700 BC. That's a Roman forum. I've been there. It's absolutely awesome. Would recommend. Name the ancient Greek citadel completed in the 5th century BC. The Acropolis. Acropolis. I don't know how you spell it. Acropolis. There we are. Uh, name the practice involving the attempt to transport base metals into gold. Alchemy. Any of you, you uh, Skyrim fans out there? Name the political institution of the, uh, the Roman Senate. This is quite good. I'm enjoying this. Name the empire that led Attila, the um, Mongol Empire. Attila the Hun? No. The Hun Empire? The Hunnic Empire? Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Name the type of religion-based habitation. Uh, I mean, like, monk? What do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Benedictine monks? No, monk. I mean, the type of religious religion-based habitation. I don't quite get the question. Does it mean what they're, they're living in? Like, monast monastery? Monastery? Monastery, okay. Uh, fine. Name the emperor being crowned by Pope Leo III in the year 800. 800. Was it Charlemagne in 800? I mean, I'm not good with that sort of uh, history. Charlemagne, name the famous Norse Viking who landed in North uh, America. Leif Eric Erikson. Yep. Name the city depicted... 1099 during the First Crusade. Oh, 
the siege. I mean, we'll try Jerusalem, but I don't think it is. Oh, it is the siege of Jerusalem. Name the historical style of competition popular in the Middle Ages. We'll go uh, jousting. Yeah, jousting. Name the medieval pandemic of the 14th century. The Black Death, of course. Huge. Name the famous inventor of mechanical movable type printing. Johann... Oh. Johann... Oh! Does he give me the B? Johann... It mails it... Ah. Blitz, <laughs> I, 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 Johan something. I don't know. Name the year in which uh, Columbus first landed in the New World. Fifteen fifty nine. I don't know. I, I don't know. Or is it earlier than that? Fourteen sixty. I don't know. Name the document posted by the Martin Luther. The ninety five. Oh. Uh, testaments. No, the ninety five. Five having problems. What was it? What was it actually called? The 95 Appeals? No. Uh, the 95. Oh, I don't know. The Bind Blank. Name the traditional occupation. Blacksmith. Okay. Want to get the mind back working again. <laughs> the East. Oh, name the trading company founded in 1602. I mean, that's the Dutch East India Company, as you can see through the flag. Uh, name either war which ended with the Peace of Westphalia. Yes, is that the Hundred Years War? No. The Sixty Years War. Uh, is it Twelve? No. <sighs> Seven. Hmm. Ah, yeah, I'll have to give that one a miss. I, I'm not sure. Name the 18th century artistic style of this image. Uh, I'm not great with this sort of stuff. Nope. <sighs> Tudor style? No. I mean, it's 18th century. Edwardian artistic style realism no I don't know name the invention first first patented the combustion engine surely wait what oh the steam engine there we are not the combustion engine. that's ages away name this revolution 1789 yeah French revolution French there we are uh, name the author of Faust, shown Johann Wolfgang von... Uh, don't know. <laughs> name the cabal depicted in this inauguration. That's the Suez Canal. Cool. Name the year in which men were marching at the start of World War I. Uh, I mean, 1914, surely. Right, and then the rest, those six we don't know. Johann Gutenberg. Oh, yes. That's it. Printing. 1492. Columbus landed in the New World. 95 Theses. Of course. Uh, the 30 Years War and 80 Years War. That's a piece of Westphalia. Rococo. What? I've never heard of that. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Ah, of course. Of course. Uh, let's see whether this one has any more. Um, countries in four centuries. Now let's go back to... Uh, ancient and i will meet you there guys oh here we have the ancient world landmarks and it's got a picture of the terracotta army there so it might be one of them there's only 15 questions so the olmec heads i mean kind of makes sense right <laughs> the mohendra daro 2500 bc indus valley civilization Ooh, ooh. I'm thinking either the obelisks or I mean that's the 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 west wall the wailing wall that or that potentially I'm going to have to ignore that serpent mound serpent mound I mean that one looks like a snake so let's go for that great pyramids of giza yeah we'll do that the parthenon 
over here. Colossi of Memnon, the 18th dynasty of Egypt. Is that it? Yeah. The Nazca Lines, that is there in... That's uh, Peru, right, I think? The Colosseum for the Roman Empire. Pyramid of the Sun, it's got to be that one, right? Stonehenge, of course, we'll go for this one. The Western Wall, Roman Judea, there we are. Throne Room of Knossos, 1500 BC, Minoan Civilization. I mean, that's the only one that's a throne room, so... <laughs> Terracotta Army. The Ziggurat of Ur. Uh, what? King Esnana's Stele. I'll go for that one then. <laughs> Mahendra Daro, that one. And then that one was the uh, Ziggurat of Ur. Nice. Let's go for Ancient World Artifacts. That sounds good. So let's go with that. The Rosetta Stone. Um, <laughs> here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the Ambun Stone. Ancient New Guineans. I mean, not much else is stone, really, is it? That? That? No. That? Okay. The Statue of Gadir. Statue of Gadir. That? No, okay. <laughs> Axumite coin. I mean, there's only two coins. That looks like an Athenian coin. So let's go for that one. Knock Rider. What? It's got to be that, though, hasn't it? Otter Effigy Pipe. Otter Effigy Pipe. I mean, this is the only one that looks pipe-like. Mosh Mask. It's got to be that one. The Dead Sea Scrolls. I'll go for that. Gold Shavin. That's the only one that's gold. <laughs> Augustus of Prima Porta. There we are. Painting of Jesus. 300 CE. Wow, that is an old painting of Jesus. Jomon Vessel. Jomon Vessel. Is it that then? Yeah. Athenian coin. The Sun Gao Bianzong. Eastern. The Sun Gao Bianzong. That? Okay, sculpture of Vishnu. There we are. Fantastic. We did work. We did quite well. Uh, oh, success estates of Alexander the Great. Go on, baby. Let's go. Ptolemaic Kingdom. Boom! Macedonian Kingdom. Boom! Thrace. Boom! Seleucid Empire. Boom! Epirus. Boom! Yes! I mean, we should have got that one, shouldn't we? <laughs> we should have got that one. Uh, but let's uh, let's have a look. Medieval World Landmarks. We don't want those. Let's go uh, Ancient World Depiction. Extinct Countries. Warring States of China, the Jewish Kingdom. Click a Roman Empire. Cool. That sounds good. Click a Persian Empire. Let's go. Click a Carnate. Click a Gunpowder Empire. Hmm. Interesting. Ancient World Landmarks 2. Let's do that one. And then let's see. So, Great Sphinx of Gaza. There we are. Kuntur Wasi. I don't know that one. Ancient Theatre of Epidaurus. There, I think that's Ephesus, you know, though. Well, I guess we'll go for it. Dysenro Kofun. Sorry if you can't see these guys. I know they're a little bit small. Um, but I, I quite enjoy looking at these. Let's go for that. Pyramids of Moreau. That's the other pyramid. Poverty Point. There? No. Pillars of Ashoka. Guess that one. No, what? This one? Statue of Zeus at Olympia. There. Uh, Sigiria, Mauryan dynasty of Sri Lanka. Let's go. F okay, no. Gate of all nations. That one. Seated Buddha from Gandhara, Kushan Empire. Uh, I can't see B Seated Buddha. I'll go for that one. Pont de Garde, Roman Empire, that one. Great Wall of Chi. Uh, this one. Colossus of Rhodes, there we are. Carthage. Uh, there? Kuntawasi, we'll go for that. No. Oh, okay. So that was the Pillars of Ashoka. That was Poverty Point. Kuntawasi is that one. Uh, Mauryan Dynasty. Senru Kofu. Carthage. Okay, cool. 
That all makes sense. That all makes sense. That's good. Cool. I think that was uh, quite good. Uh, but let's um, let's go on one of these. Click a. Uh, let's click a pre. Let's click a Roman Empire. Let's try that. Okay, the Roman Republic. The Roman Republic. Uh, why are the Mongols on here, bro? <laughs> um, I mean, the Roman Republic would not be very much. So... Is it that? It's 27 BC. Or is it that? Or is it that? I think that... No, this! God damn, bro. 27 to 395. So we're just looking for a progression from this, really. So... This? Yeah. Eastern Roman Empire, 395 to 1453. Uh, I mean, I... Not that, not that, not that, not that, not that. So it's between these two. Um... It's just the time, though. Like, when... They both are very similar. I'm going to go for that one. Okay. The Western Roman Empire. It's got to be that, right? The Holy Roman Empire. It's got to be that. <laughs> the Empire of Trebizond. Really? That's not much of an empire, bro. But it's there, anyway. <laughs> the Latin Empire. Uh, okay. The last of the Byzantines, then. The Ottoman Empire, there we are. The Russian Empire, there we are. Kingdom of Italy, there we are. We did okay, average score, average score. But, I mean, that's fine. Let's uh, see whether we can have a look at some more of them. God by ancient world depiction. Oh, this is going to be pretty hard, bro. <laughs> Branded eye god, Olmec religion. Just look for something that's Olmec, then. Branded eye god. I'm thinking either like this or this. Let's go for that. Oh, uh, Epona, Gallo-Roman paganism. That looks like a Roman, uh, Gallo-Roman, so Gallic as well. Okay, Epona's that. Diana, Roman paganism. That one. Ahura Mazda, uh, Zoroastrianism. So that's, oh, Really? Oh, they're both Persian. Mithras, that's... Oh, God, no. I'm absolutely screwing this up. Sumerian religion. I don't know. Uh, it's Samna Maya religion. It's potentially this one or this one. Or maybe this one. There we go. It was that one. Shiva. Shiva, 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 I think. Go there. Zeus. Uh, it's got to be there. Medjed, Egyptian religion. It's got to... Whoa, really? Oh, no. Canaanite. Oh, that was it. Gong Gong. That's got to be that. And Anubis. There we are. Oh, terrible. Terrible on that one. Terrible. Um, Why don't we go to medieval world landmarks? I know it's not ancient, but we'll finish on this one just for a bit of fun, guys. Uh, no, these are rubbish for you guys. You can't see them, can you? So let's finish on ancient historical figures by civilization. Can you identify the five historical figures who correspond to each ancient civilization? So Rome. Let's uh, let's start then. Cicero, Simon, uh, Hippocrates, Herodotus, Cyrus. Oh, come on, give me something a bit easier. There's not got much time on this. Plautus. It could be them. Scipio Africanus. Definitely Tacitus. Trajan and Plautus? Right, Greece. We should be able to do this. Aristotle. Uh, Herodotus. Hippocrates. Um, we can go to Cyrus the Great? No. Oh, Cambyses. Um, let's ignore Greece for now then. Go to Egypt. We should go with Hatshepsut. 
Imhotep. Uh, no. Nefertiti. Oh, this is hard, bro. Ashoka? No. Uh, we'll go on to the next one then. Persia. So we know Darius. Uh, we also think Xerxes. Should be able to guess these, really, with their names, right? Uh, Mosey? No. Oh, hard, bro. Maya. Uh, Maya. Ooh. I mean, these? <laughs> Lady Zock? Uh, Lousy? No. Okay, Lousy China, yeah. Confucius. Uh... Sappho, no. Quincy Huang. And Mencius. India then. Okay. This one. I would probably go for Mahavira. I will go for Chandragupta Maurya. Uh, Mosi? Nama? No. Okay. Samprati, obviously. Cambyses? No. No. Oh, Cyrus the Great. Ashoka. No. We did better than normal. So Ashoka is India. Atossa is Persia. Cambyses is Persia as well. Josa is India. Uh, Simon, Greece. Samprati, India. Sapo, Greece. Yol, Ichnal, Maya. That makes sense. Nama, Egypt. And Mosi, China. Cool. Well, we've learned some stuff today again, haven't we, guys? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was fun for me to uh, film. I hope you enjoyed. Comment how you did down below in the description. And I will see you guys on the next video.